Welcome to the Questers and Questers Junior Workshop. Join us online for new digital challenges and follow along in our monthly workshops to practice challenges in our nine STEAM categories. Be sure to pick up your bonus activity at the Merchant Square location while supplies last. Bonus activity challenge sheets can be found in the Questerverse. Visit the Questers page on the Carmel Clay Public Library website to log in, create an account, and see challenges on the Questerverse, our online platform. Welcome to Questers and Questers Junior December Workshop. I'm Miss Kelly. I'm going to start today's workshop with reading The Nutcracker in Harlem. It is written by T.E. Morrow, illustrated by James Ransom, and published by Harper Collins Publisher. The Nutcracker in Harlem. It was snowing in Harlem on Christmas Eve. The party at Marie's house swirled with colors, gold and red and green. Mama and Poppy were dancing. Miss Addie sang, and Uncle Cab played the piano. Marie loved the sound of Christmas. Join in, Marie, Uncle Cab called out. Marie looked down. She wished she could sing, but Marie was afraid. She wasn't any good. Certainly not like Miss Addie or Uncle Cab. The song ended. It was time for gifts. Every year, Uncle Cab would give Marie a doll and Freddie some toy soldiers. They were carved from a magical wood, Uncle Cab always said. He handed Freddie his gift. And now for my Marie, said Uncle Cab. A nutcracker, said Marie. A drummer boy nutcracker? Dum diddy dum 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 dee dum played the nutcracker on his drum. Uncle Cab sang a tune to the beat of the little drummer. The room again filled with song. Everyone in the house was singing or dancing. Everyone except Marie. Miss Addie knelt next to Marie. Will you sing with me, Marie? She asked. Marie shook her head. No. Maybe next time, Miss Addie said. Music lives inside everyone. You just have to let it out. After dinner, Marie took the nutcracker and a slice of sweet potato pie and sat by the Christmas tree. The lights were soft and twinkling. She lay down, closed her eyes, and fell asleep. Marie opened her eyes. The house had gone silent. Outside, it had stopped snowing. A full moon glowed in the sky, and the living room was filled with a ghostly white light. A rustling sound came from the top of the tree where Mama had hung her favorite ornaments, the glass birds. It was almost as if the blue glass bird was moving. Wait, it was! The bird fluttered its wings and began to sing. Then the gold bird joined in, and the red one, and the green one too. As the bird sang, the Christmas tree began to grow. It grew bigger and bigger until it towered over Marie. The ornaments, the presents, the dolls, and the soldiers grew too. Dum diddy dum 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 dee dum. The nutcracker played his drum. The toy soldiers and dolls danced around the tree as the birds sang on. Crush! The music stopped. Candy canes. A voice squealed. Marie turned. A mouse army, all in uniform, was marching toward the tree. A mouse general was leading them, his chest covered with shiny metals. Candy canes, he repeated. Marzipan and chocolate. Charge! The nutcracker began to drum. Dum diddy dum. The toy soldiers lined up behind him. They marched toward the mouse army. The mouse turned and ran away. Then the entire army followed, all except the general. 
I want sweet potato pie, the general shouted. He ran, jumped, and knocked the nutcracker down. The drum fell to the ground. When the drumming stopped, so did the toy soldiers. The mouse army advanced again. Charge, the mouse general commanded. What could Marie do? She picked up the drum and put the strap over her neck. Dum diddy dum, the mouse army stopped, turned and ran away. The general glared, but Marie kept drumming until he too fled. As the mice ran, they began to shrink, getting smaller and smaller. The toy soldiers chased the mice through a hole in the wall and into the snow outside. The glass bird sang as the soldiers returned. Marie joined the nutcracker in a dance. They swirled around and around. They seemed to be on a cloud. It started to snow, but it wasn't cold. Marie closed her eyes and began to sing. Marie! She opened her eyes. It was morning. Did I miss Christmas? Marie asked. Of course not, darling, Mama said. Under the tree were Marie's dolls, the nutcracker, and something else, a drum. She picked up the drumsticks, dum diddy dum 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 dee dum. Very good, said Uncle Cab. He began to sing a Christmas song. Mama and Poppy and Miss Addie all joined in, and so did Marie. The end. You may pick up a video of the Nutcracker at the library. There are many different versions of the Nutcracker. Some other talking points about this book are, where's Harlem? Do you know where Harlem is? What kind of things do you celebrate in December? Do you celebrate Christmas? Do you celebrate something else? There's lots of things to talk about. Hi Questers, Ms. Erin here. Today we're going to talk about the Write a Poem Challenge. One of the things you can do to help you with your Write a Poem Challenge is to make a poetry journal. To do this, you'll need four pieces of eight and a half by 11 paper and one piece of cardstock or light cardboard. To make the pages for your journal, you'll fold all of your white printer paper pages in half and then in half again. And then you'll tuck them inside each other. Once that's done, you'll fold your cardstock in half and in half again. And then you can staple your book together. Your completed book should look something like this. In my book, I've chosen several different types of poetry to show here. A popcorn poem is random word poetry using words that pop to mind when you think of a main topic. An acrostic poem starts with one letter of each word. I've used my name here. A spine poem uses words from book spines to create a fun poem. Explore your house and yard and come up with ways to make your own fun poetry and use your poetry journal to record it. To make your LED frame craft, your kit will include a large piece of felt, thread, one LED, some beads, and a coin cell battery. You will need to provide a ruler, scissors, and a needle from home. To make your frame, first you'll cut your large piece of felt in half. The first piece will become the front of your frame. You'll need to make marks one and a half inches from each edge to create your frame space. You will also want to place your battery, make a marking where it will go, and put two dots in for the holes for your LED light. For the second piece, you're going to cut two inches off from one side and then cut that in half and then cut a piece two inches long. Next, Sew your beads. You can sew 
any shape you want around the LED or decorate the frame and leave the LED space open. Next, you'll sew on the battery holder. Then you'll sew it around the edges and down at the bottom so that your battery fits. Test your LED light to make sure that the battery works. And then put your LED through the holes and bend. Then you should be able to tuck your battery and sew the backing. Once you've sewn your battery in, you'll sew the back on to hold your picture in place. And sew the extra pieces so that your frame will hang. Your finished picture frame.